Do you find it hard to clean your espresso machine? I'm about to show you the simple ways that you can clean your espresso machine like a professional barista. To best understand this, I'll be showing you the two different ways that you can clean your espresso machine, which are the advanced way of cleaning the espresso machine and the best way that you can clean your espresso machine. This is because most of us baristas are often very lazy when it comes to properly cleaning up our espresso machine, yet it's one of our main duties as professional barista to know and understand how you can properly clean up your espresso machine so that you can be able to make a good cup of coffee if you don't clean up your espresso machine the oils and the coffee grinds will get stuck in your group head which will result into a bad tasting cup of coffee hi i'm the Roda barista so let's start cleaning our espresso machine we're going to start with the basic way of cleaning up our espresso machine we're going to need first three wet towels in our espresso machine working station each of these towels has a specific part of a espresso machine where it is supposed to clean we're going to start with the first one and the most important one this is for cleaning our steam one at every working station where you're using an espresso machine you're going to need this wet towel every time you finish steaming your milk you need to clean up your steam one so that you can remove and prevent milk from drying on the steam one this will look bad and it will also lead to a bad testing cup of coffee also cross contamination between the different types of milk our next towel is for cleaning up our drip tray. Every time you finish pulling your shot of espresso, you're going to need to flush your group head. The coffee grains which are stuck on the shower screen are going to drip in the drip tray, so you're going to need this towel to clean up your drip tray. If you don't clean your drip tray, you're going to end up having your cup messy and dirty with the water which is on the drip tray. So you're going to need every time to wipe your drip tray and make sure it's clean at all times. Then our third towel, this is for cleaning up our body of the espresso machine. Sometimes we also use it for cleaning up our grinders because we need to have everything in our working session very clean. This is very good when it comes to customer service. A customer is very happy whenever he sees a clean espresso machine. Throughout the day, there are some other additional cleaning process that you need to do as a professional barista. Considering how busy your coffee shop is, you're going to need to remove the basket from the pot filter so that you can clean and remove the stains of the espresso at the back of the basket. You can do this two times in a day, considering how busy your coffee shop is. Then next, you're going to need to backflash at least your group head two times in a day without chemical. So to backflash our group head, we're going to need to change our basket and put in the blind basket so that we can be able to backflash our coffee machine without chemical. This will help to remove the coffee grains and the oils from the group head. But to backflash our coffee machine, just to touch the blind coffee basket with the pot filter into your group head so that the water doesn't flow out. Touch your coffee machine, wait for 10 seconds, pause 3 seconds, repeat this cycle for 5 times, then remove your naked basket. After back brushing, we're going to need our group head brush for cleaning up the coffee grains which are surrounded our group head. That didn't come out when we are back flashing. You just brush on the shower screen so that you can remove the coffee grains which are surrounding the shower screen. So throughout the day, you need to make sure like everything is clean at all times. Whenever you're busy, after the busy shift, you can do this basic cleaning so that you can keep your espresso machine clean at all times. Then next, it's our advanced way of cleaning our espresso machine. We're going to need the cleaning chemical we use the cafe tool for our coffee shop But also we're going to need to like this video so that it can be displayed to other people So we're going to need the screwdriver. This is used for removing our shower screen for the advanced way We remove the shower screen after back flashing. So we're going to start by the back flashing of our group head. This is often done at the end of the day to backflash our coffee machine, we're going to add one teaspoon of chemical solution into our pot filter, then insert it in our group head. We'll press the manual extraction button, let it run for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, we're going to pause it for 5 seconds, then repeat the same cycle. 10 seconds, 5 seconds pause until 5 times. After 5 cycles of backflashing with chemicals, we're going to remove the chemicals from the pot filter, then we're going to rinse our group head. Then we're going to repeat the same process, but by this time around, we are back flashing our coffee machine without chemical. This will help to clean and remove the remaining chemicals in our group head. Then next, we're going to remove our shower screen. We remove our shower screen, then brush our group head so that we can remove the coffee grains around our group head so that we can keep our group head clean.
So we're going to do the same process on both of the group head. Also the second group head, we're going to backflash it with the chemical. Then after backflashing our coffee machine and ensuring our group head is clean, then the next thing is cleaning our drip tray. We're going to remove the cup of the drip tray so that we can clean the base of the drip tray. We're going to remove the coffee grinds using a cloth or tissue so that we prevent the coffee grinds from going into the wastage pipe. This might end up blockaging the wastage pipe. Then after removing the coffee grinds, we're going to clean our drip tray with clean water and make sure like it's all clean. This is very important because it will keep our drip tray clean. After cleaning our drip tray, then we're going to clean our steam wand. Most of the times, if there is broken jets, you're going to need to open the steam wand tip so that you can clean it thoroughly. If there is no brokerage in our steam wand, we're going to only need to soak our steam wand. So we're going to get a cup, add in water, then add in half a teaspoon of our chemical solution. We're going to soak our steam wand in a chemical solution. Most of the time overnight, but if not, you can soak it for 10 minutes then clean it very well with water, purge it so that you can remove any chemicals that might be stuck in your steaming one. After soaking our steaming one, then the next we're going to soak our pot filter with the pot filter basket and also the shower screen. You're going to need a metallic container or any container. You're going to add water, add two teaspoons of a chemical solution. You can let it rest for 30 minutes or you might let it rest for overnight. In our coffee shop, every time we do a general cleaning of our espresso machine, we often soak everything for overnight until the morning shift is the one to start and set up everything. As an additional tip, as a professional barista, you need to keep all your working sessions very clean. So you're going to need also to clean up your coffee grinders. You're going to brush your coffee grinders so that you can remove any coffee grinds which have fallen around your coffee grinders. It's your main duty as a barista to have a clean working station. You should ensure everything in your working station is very clean. To best understand how you can set up your working station, especially if you work in the morning or an opening shift, here's my video of the main duties of a morning barista on how you can set up your working station so that you can have a successful morning shift. It also helps you understand how you can easily clean up your coffee machine and remove the chemical solution. In case your coffee machine was cleaned overnight, 